back from that short break um, if you are a lover of movies or Igbo movies as a whole yeah, then you're gonna love this well even if you're not a lover I'm sure after this interview you would love it to discuss in, in, of course in studio with us to discuss Igbo cinema versus Nollywood is David A.K. Chuku A.K. Um, he's an Igbo cinema project director um, David, wonderful to have you here with us at the studio. Yeah, thank you so much. You, you look amazing. I, I like the way it's like this country is not touching you. Are you? Do you know that things are going high in the country? I'm aware. You're aware. <laughs> you don't look aware. We'll just have to <laughs> okay, yeah, um, please, David. Uh, well, I think Josh actually did some justice onto that because you need to explain some things. Okay. But well, before you we get into that, can you provide us? A brief history of how Igbo cinema emerged within the brother um, Nollywood industry. Okay, um, Igbo cinema has been a concept I've had for the past um, five years. So what happened was um, 2021 we attempted, but then it wasn't looking so bright. We had to go back to the drawing board. Then some sometime last year. I reached out to the president of the uh, Association of Igbo Filmmakers, that's director John Paul Wanganga. I told him there's a need for us to come up with something that pertains the Igbo people. You know, out there, the Igbo people, they are being underreported, underdeveloped, and um, underrepresented in the media space and uh, the filmmaking. Uh, industry the, uh, the nollywood uh, industry so he said it's a good idea and um, we reached out to chief ambassador pete edoche who is the chairman of uh, Igbo cinema we told him that you see what we have how do we go about it he gave us advice and okay we're able to come up with something we reached out to um late chief iwanya who that just uh, died a few few weeks ago we met him and he welcomed us with an open arm I was like, okay, this is good. We we partner with you. And uh, we were saddled with the responsibility of um, promoting the Igbo culture and language. On um, 10th of February, uh, 2024, we had a, a grand unveiling, what we call the unveiling of Igbo cinema. And uh, we had in, in um, attendance the, the Nollywood Igbo veterans the likes of uh, Ambassador Peter Duce was there. Um, um, Barrister Kanai Okanayo was there. Um, Chief President Sozoko, um, Chacha AK. What we did was we made sure that we we selected two actors from each state in the southeast to represent the their states, different states in the unveiling. And we unveiled 13 titles that day, um, ranging from um, our first project we we'll kick off uh, 2025, that's next year. It will be one day. We'll have Ojadili, and uh, we'll have the story of Obanje, the story of Ohu, the story of um, Osu, you know, all these things. Um, Ambassador Piche Doche told me something. Um, the Ojadili story, he said he heard it first when he was in primary four. So Piche Doche is 77 years, <laughs> and he heard Ojadili when he was in, prim in primary school. I also heard the the Ojadili story um, when I was in primary school as well. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the, the stage yeah, I was there. Okay. Now, the reason we the, we created Ibo Cinema is because now I see our generation as the last generation, the custodian of culture. The upcoming generation, they are so into the the um, what um, the new age, um, the social media era the old phase is passing away. Mm. If we don't tell these stories, this is the reason for Igbo cinema. If we don't tell these stories, nobody will. And the best way to preserve culture and language is through media and filmmaking. If you make a very good content representing Igbo culture, it's going to last for 100 years, at least 200 years, if we preserve it well. So this is the short summary of how Igbo cinema came so W what's the relevance of the stories you mentioned or Jadeli, you okay. know I may know the relevant Joshua may know the relevant okay. but for the 
public. What's the relevance of s such stories like Ojadili and the rest, the likes that you mentioned? <coughs> okay, now, um, I was having a co conversation with my one of our sponsors in the United uh, Kingdom. That was few few um, days ago. Not that I was in the I was not in the United Kingdom. He came over to Nigeria, and um, he was telling me the history of Alexandra the the Great. Great. He was Alexander the Greek. He told me a lot about him. Then he told me that history was carved from the word history. Now, I had to check it out. It was not totally true. But then, if you look at it from our own angle, you see that history is also his story. His story. If you don't tell your stories, someone else will tell it. Now, I was also in a film festival in Enugu, that was a few months ago, um, hosted by uh, Uche Abo DGN. There was this uh, panel discussion they had that I found very interesting, called commercialization of culture. Now, other tribes that are commercializing their culture, there are some things we don't know. As, I, as I'm sitting here, um, now, as if you are to start speaking Igbo, there's no how I will speak Igbo without mixing it up with English. You get now um the, your question is the relevance now the relevance is first of all we have to know our roots now telling the story of ojadili we have to bring out something that is fantastic out there now ojadili is using ojadili as a case study because we have other titles using ojadili as a case study now ojadili is a war story is it a true story no it's not a true story. But then, telling this story is a myth. Telling this story now, you carry along our traditions in the movie. Now, we have a scene where there is traditional marriage. Now, we are showing the world that this is how we marry in Ibo land. While we are showing the world, we are also trying to remind our people here that are going astray, that are going off, that this is how we marry. It's just like what I've been talking about. Now, an Igbo person doing traditional marriage, you don't wear another person's attire. I'm, care I'm being careful enough not to mention specific tribes. Now, we have our regalia. This is how we dress if you want to marry traditionally. Now, you never see um, an Aosa person. You never see a Yoruba person. Let me not say never. Hardly. You hardly see a Yoruba or an Aosa person wearing Ishago hmm? while getting married. Okay, okay. Because I wanted to say that I saw the former president of Nigeria, Buhari. Well, that, that one is no, a no, political. No, yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. So you know when you're contesting for you for a to. position, you have to represent. Um, you have to show that okay, you are you are yeah, leader for, for all. Yes. 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 So you will not see them, but you see our people. They will be wearing a uh, you know, uh, one. We we'll call it growing up. We we'll call it one thousand five hundred to marry in an Igbo land. No. So the reason for for this. Um, um, okay, the relevance is we we'll remind you. Okay, this is um, uh, a traditional marriage scene. This is how we marry. Then we we'll show farming season. This is how we plant the yam you eat. Most of us we don't know how to how yam how yam came. You know how they plant yam. You know, cause growing up it was I think it, it's not up to ten years that I found out. Okay, yam you cut it in in sizes, then place it on top. Then this is how yam germinates. Then we we'll plant yam. Then we will fight. In 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 villages, there are there are people who call rainmakers. People don't know that there are people that make rain. And when you say, okay, this guy makes rain, you think, oh, this person is is just telling stories you get. So we're trying to, in as much as we are trying to make people feel comfortable watching these things, we're trying to remind them with one or two things. Okay, in Ojadli, we also have rest, wrestling scenes. You know, something happened. There was a, um, there was a, um, an event. I think it happened twice in the last last year. Put up together uh, uh, the strongest man in a certain local government in Ebony State. People came out. I've never been in such atmosphere before. People were happy. See men fighting. Okay, the grand prize was one million naira. Now it may not be about the money, but people were electrified. They were excited. Wow, this thing happens. You really, you really, see, you can't see such events again. So we want to put these things together. And remind people, okay, this is who we are. This is our identity. Identity 
is the main reason for Igbo cinema. This is who we are. Okay, okay all right. So, uh, what is going to be the clear difference between the Igbo cinema and the Nollywood as we have it? Okay, um, the the simple answer to that is quality. Mm. Yes, quality because we we are reaching out. We are reaching out to um, both um, southeastern government and um, private um, individuals, um, multinational Igbo companies. Um, <coughs> that's how we want to do our things. Now, Igbo cinema, the difference is um, there is this popular Igbo TV. I won't mention them as well. Mm -hmm. when, you, when, you, when you go to this station, you will see Igbo content. They just do it as though this is comedy. They are just doing things aimlessly. Nothing is really going on. My mom, papa, this is hey, I want to marry you. Did you just slap me? Hey, playing around. No aim, no nothing. And the reason why this thing is happening is because we don't take we Igbos we don't take this thing serious. Okay. We have interesting stories. Now, um, we're not trying to compete. We are trying to represent. Um, these uh, the Yorubas, I respect what they do. They embraced art. And what we don't know is that there is money in art. That's why Lagos is the center of everything. Now, the difference is um, quality, like I said. The movies we want to make is not for the local channels. Even though we we'll still find ways to push it through the, 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 the stream so that everybody will get, we'll make sure that because the, the budget we have for promotion is almost as big as the project itself because we understand the promotion aspect. I, I was about to ask if it was going to be on Netflix. Yes, I was about to get into <laughs> okay, to that. Thing. Now, we also have plans to travel to Netflix headquarters, not in Nigeria, to discuss with them. Now, the term of um, discussion is co-commissioning. Are you co-commissioning with uh, commissioning um, the project or send your supervisory team to monitor this and we'll make it Netflix original? Because when you get to the Netflix platform, you hardly see Igbo, Igbo stories. Now, there are a lot of movies out there, likes of Jago Jago and um, Oba Elishin, that's Yoruba this thing. Mm -hmm. Now, I learned a few things from Jago Jago because I was interested. It was a love and action and emotional um, story. But then, the way they were speaking, they were speaking Yoruba subtitle. So, I was listening to their Yoruba and I was watching the sub subtitle. This is what we want to achieve with Igbo cinema as well. Speak Igbo, then subtitle it. You get the quality. This is where the 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 likes of Netflix and um, Prime Video comes up. We're also looking to travel to France, Cannes. That's um, they call it film uh, film city. So we will get more international markets. But then we're not forgetting the local market here, where the Igbo people are dominant. So the, when you, when we talk about quality, now if you want to shoot for these big platforms I just mentioned now, there are some things you have to consider. The picture quality, the sound, the the story, it's very important. And um, I think these are the three basic things. If you're able to get this thing, Netflix has made it easy. Let me use Netflix as an, as an example. I've been to um, conf conventions and conferences where Netflix, they came live. That was in Lagos. And they, they've told us that this is how you do it, this is how you do it. So if you make a movie and Netflix doesn't buy, you know that you're the problem because they have their range, their range of cameras. This is what we need. Use this camera. That's one. This is the type of movie we shoot. This is how we direct our shots, and this is this. Possibly get a director or a producer that worked for them before. Then they will help you and get to where you are. So the answer to your question is quality. Mm. We want to deliver a quality right. job. Before, before we go on, we're going to play a short <coughs> clip of the unveiling of the Ebo cinema. Okay. Just stay tuned as we show. <coughs> Oh. 
Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that. I've said this before. I need to learn it and I am going to learn how to speak Igbo. <laughs> Please take us through what we watched. Um, you said where was that held? Okay, that was uh, held at uh, a communical center okay. in Boeing State. And um, um, I will also use this opportunity to thank the Boeing State um, Rights Honorable Builder Francis Mwifuru. He, he helped us to host that uh, massive uh, event that I just uh, watched and uh, he had the Igbo spirit in him. He, after the unveiling, we had a sick call with him and he tasked us on uh, reaching out to all the mm. governors, the need to represent the Igbo culture and language up there. Mm. In terms of addressing contemporary issues, Okay. How storytelling in Igbo cinema evolved over the years? Hmm. Okay. Um, now, my response is actually going to be, you know, there's actually been an argument on who started Nollywood, and it got intense. That was uh, three years ago. I said, oh, it's Yoruba, oh, it's Igbo, oh, it's Yoruba, oh, it's Igbo. And um, Peter was able to put me through that, okay, see what happened. We started this, and Yorubas came in through, um, I've forgotten his name. And uh, now, because the Yoruba have this love for art, they took it up. But there is always a, dif a difference when the Igbo people steps in because they are unique in everything they do. Um, we, if you check our old, this mo the movie is do done in the 1980s, 90s, the Igbo stories. Movies like, there is um, Living in Bondage, there is Hatwick, the one that was remade by uh, the Play Network, and um, Taboo, that was the first movie uh, Network Unko featured in. You see that these the stories, if you go by these stories, they are still impactful. But is it not breaking? Is it not still uh, working in ways to break Let me use Nollywood Afamefuna. or break Nigeria? Let me use Afamefuna as an instance. Afamefuna is, is a good uh, work of art. Now, it's the, the global stage and um, it is still trending. If you ask, okay, what Igbo story is out there, Mwekuna is the best for now. And the most recent. Okay. Okay. 
No, no, please go on. No. Okay, and the most recent mm. you get. Now, after moving now is the one boy story. Now, the question they ask is how has the Igbo uh, storytelling fed in summary? Mm -hmm. Now, you see, after moving mm -hmm. is just one out of millions. The one boy story. Now, it was able to tell the, the people that this is our culture. Boy is, is a culture, it's not just a norm. Okay. It is not, it's not, it is not, um, um, I don't know, I'm lacking the right word, but it is our tradition. Mm -hmm. Only if go through that system, I heard unconfirmed when I read it that in Harvard that they are studying the one boy system, both people. That's to show how important it, it is. Okay. So, using Afamir from as a case study, it is a breakthrough to show that okay, if more of this, it is actually going to change the narrative. Okay, yes. so uh, you did mention about um, Netflix, and I think maybe my last question will be concerning Netflix. How uh, there are speculations that most movies um, that are Netflix original have one way or the other that they promote LGBTQ, whatever. I, is Debo Cinema also ready to submit to such a uh, okay, proposal? Um in answering this question, I when you say LGBT, whatever. Now the story we are telling, I do tell people growing up, we didn't notice anything like this. Growing up, I was in the nineties, late nineties. You get, we, we there was no issues like LGBT, mm. man man, woman woman, you know stuff like that. Yes. You get that. This is not problem. Yes. So the time your, your father told you about your Ojadli, there was nothing like that. Mm -hmm. You know, this story is now it's just like telling and, you know, Ojadli is 1700, that era. We go straight to the business. You know, LGBT and the, the rest, these things are distractions. So you tell the story according to us in existence mm -hmm. then. And you say, and now let me say something again. Um, we there were speculations that um, Netflix is going off Nigeria, and the speculation was strong. Now, why is it going off? Because we, the Nollywood, let, let me not talk about Evo Cinema, Nollywood genre, need to step up, and it is projects like this that will, that will make it to step up. Now, Netflix is a business platform. Now, let me tell you the advantage Evo Cinema offers to Netflix. Evo subscribers this um product is capable of giving netflix twenty thousand new subscribers so when they press the number because you know what we do this such product is is born out of sentiment a good one um there is that said in carbon kai you know this is our own as an able person you know, okay they are making our stories wow you watch this and if we are to go to the cinemas to patronize uh, our our core indigenous stories, it is not a bad thing. I heard that there is a best cinema in the world is in Inewi by an Igbo person. These are the contents we encourage because Inewi is one of the biggest city in Igbo land. They call it Japan of Africa. So when you, when, when they call Inewi Japan of Africa, it, they, that name is not just for this thing. It means they are actually doing something great. To have such nickname. Yeah, I honestly wish time would permit us because I could see my colleague already have so many things you want to ask, okay. and I have, you know, so many things filming. But I, you know, I guess we will still have. We'll keep having this conversation. And maybe invite you again, okay. talk deeply more on Ibo cinema, you okay. know, and be able to highlight um, some things in it. Okay. Well, before we continue, as we to continue rather. Um, we're going to have entertainment news. You remember it's vital, so go nowhere. <laughs> 